To try and understand the photon, I have been working on my own theory called quantum atom theory. In quantum atom theory, time and space are linked by light. The wave-particle duality of light creates a time continuum. Light will expand out from its center in all directions as a light sphere of standing wave functions. Only when a wave function comes in contact with the electrons on the surface of an atom does it collapse into a quantum particle. This quantum particle will take the form of a photon and will need a position in space and time that the wave function never had. Therefore we have a new moment in time and space created by the smallest unit of radiant energy, the Planck constant. Because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function, we have free will to create our own future. In this traditional light cone diagram, there is no understanding of time, but in these diagrams the atom is creating its own time and space in a chain reaction of photon-electron couplings that is called stimulated emissions. Therefore, if the observer looks up, he can see back in time through light years of space. But if he looks down into the quantum world of the atom, he can only see probability. The probability of the uncertainty principle is the same probability that the observer will have in any future event. The polarization of a photon will be set at the creation of its own standing wave function. This will remain the same however large the light sphere becomes, because when the wave function collapses, it will represent the same moment in time for both photons. In this theory, light is a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source, because time is be cre being created continuously at the same rate that light moves. In this diagram of an atom, a photon expands through space as a wave-particle function of light. When it makes contact with the electrons on the surface of the atom, the wave function will collapse into a new photon particle and into a new moment in time and space. When there is a photon-electron coupling, there is a delay factor. This is why light travels slower through glass and water. There will be that B a quantum leap of energy, creating a wave-particle function of future possibilities. In this way, two-dimensional space on the surface of the atom expands into three-dimensional space-time of the observer. This is very difficult to visualize, but in this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight, the wave-particle duality of light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function into moments of time and space creating her own space-time. The best way to see this happen directly with light is in the two-slit experiment. The light will expand in all possible directions as a wave-particle function. When it reaches the screen with the two slits, the photon will react with the electrons of the screen. This will collapse the wave-particle duality of the light, creating new moments in time and new quantum particles in space. The part of the wave that does not come in contact with the screen will expand in all possible routes, going through both slits. When this wave-particle function comes in contact with the screen, it will collapse, creating moments in time and quantum particles in the shape of an interference pattern. When the observer tries to de determine which slit a photon passes through, the interference pattern will collapse. This is because to observe the photon, we have to create a photon-electron coupling, collapsing the wave function, creating a new moment in time and a new quantum particle in space. Just like in Newton's first law of motion, the interference pattern will continue to maintain its state unless acted upon by an external force. The only problem is the external force can only see one moment of infinity 